Yeah, and here we go. We are starting off round one of the world championships here oh. from Nashville, Tennessee. Oh, Latias Prism Star in the prizes for Stefan. So both players have uh, crucial cards in their prize cards that they won't be able to access until they start taking some knockouts. Yep. Also doesn't have access to that top of Coco if you wanted a surprise come in and maybe potentially take a knockout there uh, if Gardevoir had a lot of energies on the board. Yep. So here we see the Rayquaza GX from Stefan at the top uh, against Evie from Aaron at the bottom. And uh, this is looking like a strong start from Stefan. Uh, he has the Mysterious Treasure to go ahead and discard a Lightning Energy. Actually, has a second one as well. And he's off to a pretty fast start, it looks like. Yeah, it's uh, it's exactly what you want to see as a Rayquaza player. You, uh, you start to get a little aggression going. You're also going to get some energies onto the board early. Yeah, I mean, his first turn, I'm, I'm sure he's going to be looking for just Rayquaza GX, trying to get as much energy as he can. Uh, going first is always great for this deck because you don't really plan an attacking turn one uh, unless you get that Latias Prism Star. And there we do see Max Elixir, and it hits. So this is a pretty strong start for Stefan. And even though this is a good matchup for Aaron, this is scary no matter what deck you're playing. Yeah, uh, definitely. He's got a lot of energies coming down early, and it looks like uh, it's not going to stop anytime soon. I believe that's a Professor Sycamore as well. Oh, it's got the bridge of the other game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, looks like we see an acro bike as well from Stefan. So really off to a blazing fast start. Look at how much energy he already has in play. Looks like three. And it's... He's finally attaching one for his turn, so he ends the first turn with four energy in play. This is terrifying. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you have a, a weakness if you just knock out a, a air, all of Aaron's Pokemon so early. And I'm oh, sorry, it's five energy. Wow. <laughs> uh, and this is why you bring Rayquaza GX to the World Championships. Uh, a lot of players looked at it and said, ah, this deck is just too inconsistent, it's too random. Uh, what if I discard the wrong thing? Sometimes it just doesn't work. But if you're trying to win a big tournament like the World Championships, some players just are like, well, yeah, but if it works, I win. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Look what happens when I get five energy out on the first turn. I just can't lose the game. Yep. Something for consistency and speed. It's a, it, it usually ends up working in your favor. <laughs> yeah. So Aaron has a little bit of a slower start. He's going to start off with an N, it looks like, and he does get that fairy energy, so he can use energy evolution with Eevee and grab that Sylveon GX. So this is a variant of Gardevoir GX we saw very early in the season. We use Sylveon GX and its magical ribbon attack to search out some cards and help you set up. Uh, it kind of got pushed out of the metagame once more aggressive decks showed up, like Buzz Bowl and uh, Zorark GX decks had uh, ways to kind of knock out Ralts on the bench and really slow down the strategy. But Aaron has decided hey, it's still good. I'm going to bring it to the World Championships, and we'll see if it pays off or if he gets run over by this Rayquaza GX. Yep, one benefit that he does have when he's playing the Sylveon and he gets to use that Magical Ribbon, a lot of decks, their way to work around this is to have an N, uh, and he doesn't have to worry about that from Stefan. Stefan only plays one N, so it's very <laughs> unlikely that he's going to actually find it. A lot of Rayquaza players are actually opting to play zero. They'll just wow. play a lot of Guzma and a lot of Professor Sycamore and then just pad those right back into the deck and make sure that if they're ever going to play a supporter, it's a good one. <laughs> uh, so we see even more energy, another Max Elixir, and uh, we see Acrobike. Saw two Fighting Fury belts, so not a tough decision there. You got to take one, discard the other. And oh my goodness, oh. <laughs> the Guzma. And Stefan is going to knock out the only Ralts that Aaron has in play. Kyle, what can Aaron do at this point to even stay in this game? Yeah, I'm sure his uh, his ribbon consisted of a couple cards to help him out in a scenario such as this. You know the Guzma can happen. So, uh, of course, you're tempted to go for the Candy Gardevoir, but, of course, if you have that double colorless energy, you can still use Fairy Wind. It's going to do 220 damage, and even through a Fury Belt, that's going to be a knockout. Yeah, it looks like that's exactly what he's going for. He's got that double colorless energy on the Sylveon GX already. And, you know, he, Stefan started off really well. This is probably the best start he could have gotten. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's got, what, seven energy in play. Turn two, and he took a knockout. But look where he is now. The Sylveon GX knocks him out. 
Uh, Aaron's going to go down to four prize cards, and Stefan just doesn't have enough energy in play to respond with a knockout. Right? He would need so much this turn to even get the seven energy in play to get the knockout here. Yeah, this is going to be difficult for him. He, he does have that Cynthia, so he can start to look for a couple more cards. But honestly, uh, it's going to have to consist of uh, probably multiple Max Elixirs or uh, Rayquaza as well to, to jump in there. Yeah, so we do see Cynthia for six cards. Stefan's going to be digging quite a bit, hoping to find, like he said, Max Elixir, Rayquaza GX. But he's already used at least two or three Max Elixirs, and there's three <laughs> Rayquaza GX in play already. Uh, this is usually where Latias starts to come in, and you take a turn off and you relax, get all your energies back, but he does not have that option. Yeah, and you can see this might be why Aaron decided to play this deck. Uh, if you think a lot of players are going to try to play with the shiny new toy, the Rayquaza GX that just came out, playing a deck full of fairy-type Pokemon, well, that's going to bode well for you. <laughs> uh, we see even the innocent fairy wind for 110. When it's times <laughs> two, it's, a, it's an easy knockout. But there we do see stormy winds from the Rayquaza GX. Stefan got it back with the rescue stretcher and discarded two of his Guzma. So there's where oh. you can see how much that can backfire. Yeah, definitely. And that means that he's already down three. So if he ever wanted to target down something, he's probably going to have to find a pal pad. And it's difficult to summon something to the top of your deck for you <laughs> when you're playing Rayquaza. You don't have uh, many tools to get you through there besides Acrobike. And this is brutal. We see the Dragon Break for 180 damage. Not quite enough to knock out Sylveon GX. And Aaron is just going off here. He gets Rare Candy, Gardevoir GX, gets to use Secret Spring, Another Sylveon GX comes into play. Wow, another double colorless energy. Think of how this game started. <laughs> Stefan had so much energy in play, got a turn two knockout. And ever since then, Aaron has just gone yeah. knockout, knockout, knockout. <laughs> <laughs> That game took four turns. Yeah, and uh, you know what? That's what Aaron was looking for. <laughs> he's, he's trying to get through very quickly and run into some pretty good matchups for him. Uh, he, had, he has a pretty great matchup in Rayquaza in that you have that weakness uh, that you have available. And also, if he does play against other decks, such as uh, a lot of these Zorark GX decks, he has Gallade. So the, the deck is pretty uh, well suited for the meta that we have right now. He can, he can run into a few matchups and feel pretty great. Yeah, so far his decision's looking genius. <laughs> I mean, that's probably one of the easiest wins you can get. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't even have to think very hard. I mean, it's not this long, stressful, like, matchup against the Zorark deck where you have to plan all this stuff out. You're just like, all right, I'll play energy on my Sylveon yeah. and knock you out. Like, oh, you didn't knock out Sylveon? Okay, oh, I'll thanks. knock you out again. <laughs> Yeah, uh, it, it honestly comes down to a lot of the time if he can just get that fairy energy. He's, he's only got seven in the deck, so sometimes it is difficult to find them. Uh, so getting that early Sylveon, being able to Magical Ribbon, that really is just what starts it all. So maybe if he runs into issues there, we could see the Rayquaza start to jump off and get the, it's that energy acceleration, maybe keep those energies on the board this time. There we see prize cards are three grass energy. That could be a problem. For Stefan, as long as, or as well as one Rayquaza GX. Uh, for Aaron, nothing too big, although he only does play one Bridget in his deck, and that is in his prize card, so that could be a problem. Yeah, a little unfortunate for Aaron there, but overall, not as bad as two Gardevoir, maybe. Who knows? <laughs> he <laughs> didn't seem crazy. to need him last time. <laughs> yeah, he won the game with one Gardevoir in his deck. <laughs> yeah, and if you're Stefan, you have to feel awful after that. I mean, you did everything you wanted to do. You had seven energy in play on the second turn of the game. <laughs> you took a knockout, and then you lost badly. <laughs> really badly, yeah. <laughs> that has to be horrible for your confidence, especially round one at the World Championships where, you know, you have all these high hopes. You've practiced all year. I mean, that has to be crushing right off the bat. Absolutely. So we see Equaza GX coming down. We see the first stormy winds. It looks like it does hit energy, so another strong start for Stefan. He's got a couple energy in play, but, you know, it might not end up mattering as we saw in the first game. Uh, it seems like it really depends on what Aaron is doing. If he can set up his Pokemon, that seems to be how this matchup's going to go. But we do see a Cynthia from Stefan. It's going to draw a fresh six cards. Yep, and we'll we'll see what he's able to get off here. He, he definitely would like to find... 
a, a little more uh, energy acceleration, so Max Elixirs would definitely be beneficial here. And probably wants to have a Guzma for next turn. If he does see an Eevee, maybe it doesn't get that fairy energy. He can start to target that down, and uh, if he never sees a Sylveon, he's never going to have to worry about Magical Ribbon. Yeah, so we do see an N from Aaron, so both players are going to shuffle in and draw a fresh six cards here. So Kyle, after that first game, how does Stefan win this matchup? <laughs> it well, did not look good. <laughs> yeah, there are uh, there are a few ways to win in Pokemon. One of them is to uh, bench your opponent out, and right now it looks like he could do that. He, right now, uh, Aaron's going to see six cards, and if none of them are basic Pokemon, he could be in a lot of trouble. Ooh, uh, you called it. <laughs> <laughs> there are no basic Pokemon in Aaron's hand. He can Draining Kiss, and that's it. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, Stefan Wagner <laughs> takes game two. He knocks out poor Ralts, and uh, that's going to be it. Wow. Those, we just finished two games in under 15 minutes. Yeah, uh, if, you, uh, if you blinked, you missed that game, and uh, it happened very <laughs> quickly. Uh, both players probably have spent more time shuffling than actually considering their plays at this point because <laughs> it's just been that easy. <laughs> yeah, not much to talk about in that game. Uh, I mean... Aaron got one basic Pokemon. <laughs> Stefan, you know, I got to say, Stefan's deck is working very smoothly. Right. I mean, in two games, we've seen him play a ton of cards, get a bunch of energy. He's had a turn to attack both games. So, I mean, if his deck can run that consistently, sometimes it's all it takes to win even bad matchups. Yep. If your opponent stumbles at all, all you need to do is attack them and take advantage. And that is one of the strengths of this Rayquaza deck. Uh, some decks aren't as good as capitalizing on opponents that stumble a little bit early on. This deck will be down your throat immediately and say, can you knock out this guy? Oh, no? Okay, I'm going to knock you out every single turn. Yep. And it's just kind of a race. Yeah, and that just puts all the pressure on Aaron, honestly. And it feels weird to say that because he's got such an advantageous spot, you'd think, by looking at the weaknesses. But it really is on him. He's got to find the answers, and he's got to make sure that he can uh, hold back that onslaught of pressure of Rayquaza. And we see Stefan's prizes. He has three? <laughs> three mysterious treasures in his prize cards. You can see they're all staff-stamped cards, too. Uh, eat cups. <laughs> You gotta go to those League Cups, man. That's how we get here. Yeah, so three Mysterious Treasure and a Rayquaza GX. So he's gonna have a hard time finding them this oh. game. Aaron's got both Field Blowers. Nothing else super relevant, though. Yeah, uh, Field Blowers, both of those prize could actually be a little awkward if uh, we were to see uh, maybe Wishful Baton coming down. We've seen that already. Uh, that means that that wouldn't be able to move. Those energies wouldn't leave the board. So that was one real reason that Rayquaza was struggling. It's when it gets knocked out, you're losing all those energies. But if you keep seven energy on board, it looks like you're going to be okay. <laughs> yeah, the field blower in the first game might have been the difference of why Aaron won, taking away those three energy after getting the knockout. Uh, oh, no. Once again, Aaron has to pass with one basic Pokemon. Fortunately for him, it is Tapu Lele GX, so it is quite difficult to get up to that many energy on the first turn, but it could happen. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've seen it happen to yeah. me. <laughs> I don't know if it's impossible to happen to other people. <laughs> we'll find out. Uh, and I'm sure Aaron is not happy about this situation and what should be an excellent matchup for him. Just has to pass with Tapu Lele GX. No EV, no Ralts in play at all. And uh, th in this situation, you feel helpless, right? You're just sitting there like, ah, you got it. You got me. <laughs> right. <laughs> and you just cross your fingers that your opponent doesn't have it. You see the first stormy winds already in energy in the discard pile. So you discard the top three cards of your deck, and then you can take a basic energy from your discard pile and attach it to Rayquaza GX. And the second stormy winds actually hits an energy it does send that Latias Prism Star to the discard pile, though, so that should actually go to the Lost Zone. Yeah, we'll find the Lost Zone in a minute here. <laughs> but it might not matter as we see a Max Elixir. We're up to three energy in play already. He needs to get to six. Can he get there? Yeah, it, it actually could be a little difficult. He doesn't, I don't know if he has any more energies in the discard pile. So with every storm he wins, he's actually taking a pretty big risk. He's going to have to hope to find those energies off of the top three in order to get them onto the Rayquaza. Oh, man, we do see Professor Sycamore, though. Seven fresh cards and another oh, oh, man. Max Elixir, and it hits again. 
That is four energy in play. Yeah, for everyone counting at home, we're at 120 damage right now. <laughs> and, oh, uh, goodness. It's just, uh, it can only go up from here. <laughs> <laughs> Does he have another Max Elixir, another Rayquaza GX? There is his attachment for the turn. Oh, it looks like he might just be one off. Goodness. Maybe one more Rayquaza. He has Ultra Ball. Oh, he's going for it. Oh, wait, and no. he got the energy in the discard pile? He's got an energy... Is if it? he's got the Rayquaza, he's got it. It's in, right? Let's see. So, yeah, so he got the first Stormy Winds, a Max Elixir, a second Max Elixir, a second Stormy Winds, an Energy Attachment. Uh, did he not find a Rayquaza GX? Maybe he discarded one off of a Stormy Winds earlier. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and the fourth one was prized. Oh, <laughs> So Aaron is going to make it one turn here. He gets to play the game. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Everyone loves to play the game. All right. So now Aaron at least has a chance. Oh, my goodness. It just has to start off with an end, though. He needs yeah. to find a basic Pokemon. Uh, if not, the game is immediately over. But even if he does, he's kind of in a bad spot. He's got to find multiple basic Pokemon here. Yeah, and if he doesn't find multiple, he needs to find Eevee and a Fairy Energy, and it's going to be difficult because he only has five Fairy Energies left in deck. One is prized, one's on the Tapu Lele. <sighs> Alright. Let's see what he gets off of these six cards. We do see a Ralts. Two Ralts. Alright. <laughs> so he's not completely out of this. Uh, he's also got a Max Potion in hand. I mean, it probably won't do anything, but it probably won't get any better in, throughout the course of the game, right? The energy's only going to build up. Right. And, oh, man, Stefan actually draws a Max Elixir. Uh, it's his top card. Uh, wow. He instructed for one last turn, and the second card on top of his deck was Max Elixir. So he was even one card it off. One away. Winning. Aaron gives him the golf clap. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yep. You're doing it. <laughs> All right. So. Stefan is going to take a knockout here. He's going to take down Tapu Lele GX. And Aaron is still certainly on the back foot. And you can see why this Rayquaza GX deck is so powerful as we see Wishful Baton coming in as well. Uh, you can see just why some players will bring this to the World Championships. Its raw power is unmatched. And Aaron actually draws his Bridget. So he's going to be able to get more basic Pokemon out. But his hand is horrendous. He's got no supporters in there. He's got no energy. He's got... Nothing. Uh, he's just got a top deck next turn. Yeah, and this is difficult for him because he, he's going to get his Pokemon out. Uh, can only grab three of those, so <laughs> going to have to make a decision here. Uh, but you know the Ralts is going to fall this turn, which means you're probably going to have to just promote an Eevee and hope to find Fairy Energy. And <laughs> and even then, you're going to be down a lot of prize cards by then. Yeah, exactly. Can even afford to do that at this point. It's right. almost like for the rest of the game, he's got to keep stringing together like Rare Candy, Gardevoir, Energy, right. get knockouts. Uh, Stefan just has so much energy in play, he's going to be able to knock out whatever Aaron brings up. Uh, so I don't even know if Aaron has any time to use Magical Ribbon anymore. Yep. It might have to just be a top deck uh, Ultra Ball into Octillery and just yeah. start moving. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it's not even like a single card helps Aaron with his current hand. Yeah. Like he doesn't have any energy. He doesn't have Rare Candy for Gardevoir. He didn't even have a Curly of that turn. So there's no one thing he can draw. It's got to be something that's, like you said, Ultra Ball for Octillery or playing an N and drawing a ton of cards at once. Yep. So what looked like a an incredibly favorable matchup for Aaron in game one is now completely flipped as Stefan quickly won game two and is now in dominant position to win game three. What does Aaron draw for his turn? Nothing. Uh, nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. A very anticlimactic there. <laughs> <laughs> he's just he's holding on to a lot of stage two Pokemon, and that's just something that happens with these decks. Is that if if you don't have magical ribbon stringing together all of these rare candies, you're just gonna sit there and have to wait for yeah. yeah. That's it. And Stefan Wagner shows off the power of Rayquaza GX here in the first round, taking down a pure fairy deck. And you could see the raw power and consistency and speed of this deck is extremely intimidating. And uh, you just cannot afford to miss a beat against this hyper-aggressive deck. It is 